Okay, so today we're looking at a new game which is, came out a few days ago. It is a Rust clone with its own unique twists. Uh, this is the map I've just spawned in. I've played it for about half an hour before making this video just to test out the controls and whatnot. Um, so we're jumping straight in. We're going to do as you do in Rust. If you haven't played it before, you get your base set up straight away. Pretty much that's the thing you do. You get a little block base set up, a bed, so you can spawn create your little chest and that so then you can go out looting so that's the aim of this episode is just to get up a simple base uh and <clears throat> get it ready for looting and progression and whatnot so we're just going to spawn in i'm just going to spawn in up here at this north beast we're on a pvp server so we may get into some combat this is a fresh character starting at level zero level one whatever it starts at uh, i shouldn't have any Levels at the bottom, you can see a bar, which is the level bar right underneath where my inventory is. Uh, to the left, you can see your um, water, um, food, stuff like that. It takes a set when loading into this game to spawn in all the bits. Uh, but once it's loaded in, it's fine. I haven't had any more stuttering after it's loaded in, so that's, that's great. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly come over here and loot these little shacks oh there's a character there okay fair enough i won't start killing people straight away i'll leave them this is a new new beach <clears throat> so if i come into the menu here we have a ton of talents and stuff compared to rust you can even unlock vehicles and stuff at later stages tanks and whatnot uh, a lot of crafting similar to rust and we also have tasks, so it's probably good to go through these because we get XP. Leveling up XP will let give us the ability to unlock more of these. See these red numbers at the top of here. Sorry, <coughs> these red numbers are uh, the level requirements to unlock the stuff. So we need to get to level two to get foundations and whatnot. So we're going to do that. Uh, the quickest way, obviously, is to do these tasks. So we've got collect resources, create tools, collect wood, create a sleeping bag, place a sleeping bag relatively simple so I don't know if you can swim or not in this I'm going to test it out or maybe it just doesn't let you go too deep in the water that's, that's fine yeah this water isn't too deep here so I'm just going to keep collecting stuff as I go Let's see if we've got enough to craft yeah we've got enough to craft one of these and one of these that'll do lovely so we're gaining levels as we are just uh, collecting stuff as well as you can see the yellow bar at the bottom is leveling up and we need all these resources obviously if we're going to be building a base that's the aim of this episode is just to get a simple base set up that everyone will need to sort of do as you first spawning because you want a spawn point um, which is the sleeping bag same as rust you need that spawn point so you're not just spawning in random locations around the map if that's how it works the same as rust i'm not sure again i haven't played much of it so we're just gonna come in here and i'm gonna put my weapon away just to see if it runs any faster no i think it's the same so we're just gonna have a look around here see if there's any loot there should be kind of like their blue crates that i'm looking for that's the kind of thing search uh nothing in here maybe someone's already been here recently this is a new beach We'll do a quick check and then we'll head up the cliffs up there. It's not its not as long as it looks. I ran up there when I played for half an hour before. Uh, it's not that long to get up there, so we'll get up there. Egg. Ah, yeah, there is, uh, I mentioned before, there are food mechanics in this game. So <clears throat> bottom left, you can see we're depleting our uh, hydration and food as we're doing things. It's also got temperature. There's a guy running around there, so... Hopefully he doesn't want to attack us straight away. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, beeline it out of here, to be honest. I want to get set up. So there's a ramp over here. I'm just going to keep collecting stuff as I run. So I'm gaining these levels. Is he behind us? Nope, that's fine. Cool. That's what we want. So. And... There are a lot more uh, NPCs in this game compared to Rust, which is cool. 
uh, means more loot, <coughs> more fun, fun things to do, and you can trigger as you progress down the tech tree. You can trigger, you unlock something later on, um, which can trigger horde mode. So it makes loads of uh, enemies come to come towards your base, and it ends up kind of like a uh, tower defense mode kind of thing. That's what I'm trying to say. You can build traps and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. Collecting stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're level two, great. And now, if we go into here, into the uh, not talents, tech. Oh, uh, not that one. We want structures, foundation. That's what we want. Great. So you just have to reach those level requirements, and then you will be able to unlock whatever you desire that meets those requirements. We do need a lot of fiber and a lot of wood to start with, I believe, so I'm just going to keep spamming collect for these. Uh, get this out as well. Put my, I'll face this way to see if people are running up the hill. Uh, I'm going to collect wood along the way to save us a bit of time once we get up there. I'll just check on the tasks collect wood yeah we're gonna make a sleeping bag we're gonna do that uh craft the sleeping bag now great i'll craft two i'm gonna get two foundations going yeah so we're gonna build similar to rust uh, an airlock if you don't know what an airlock is it's having double doors one door so you can go in and if there's an enemy behind you um there's a second door so they can't sneak in behind you and then get all to your loot i'll show you what i mean once we build it but I'm guessing a lot of you will probably know what an airlock is already. So we're just spamming as we run up here, gaining levels as you can see. Nice, there we go, lovely. I don't know if there's a carry weight that affects like encumbrance and stuff. That I'm not sure about yet. I do seem to be running slower now. So that is a thing, I think. Oh no, I can run faster now. I'm going to eat some of my food down at the bottom there because it does perish, as you can see. Uh, pressing the wrong button for. There we go. Perfect. We're going to find a spot. I think we have to claim land. Um, oh, there's a UFO up there. I don't know what the hell they are. I saw one of those before. Um, I'm not sure. Now, we do have... These are points of interest on the map here. Things like this. So, we're going to set up around here just for a beginner base, I think. I'm going to go up. I'm going to check this first. See what's over here. Stuff. We'll have it. Right click to drop into the inventory. Um, I'm going to head up here. I'm going to get down a... Just a foundation sleeping bag. I can. Get up here. Come on. Let me up. God, jump in's uh, something to be desired. Nice. Okay. I'm going to head towards the UFO, I think. But not go, actually, all the way over there. Just steer. Uh, I want to be up top a bit, I think. I want my base up top. A little bit out of sight of the road. Uh, so what we also need to craft is one of these. I don't know if you need to put it inside your base or not um if it if it's destructible by enemy players but i'm gonna just put it outside for now because it's a bit awkward uh it's quite a large looking thing if i show you it see like this um uh, can't quite see it but yeah you can see the area that we uh, can claim by the green circle so i'm just gonna put that away for a sec while we get over here I'm going to set up here, nice bit of flat, flat land. So <clears throat> let's drop this bad boy down. Um, so you can expand it, I believe. So I'm just going to dump it down there. That's fine. And you can put in resources. Yeah, that's it. Go like that, submit resources. You've got 18 hours of repairs there. So now I'm going to dump down some... 
foundations. Uh, and then boom. And boom. And we need to build or check the tech tree. Structures, we want walls, that's right. We want floors, that's right. We want put down a sleeping bag. I'm gonna put it at the back here. Boom. Do we have to claim it? Hold for more options. Rename. Rename. Uh Abyssal. That's my name on here. Character's name. Um we need some walls. Wood wall. Craft. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, how many do we need to? One, two. I can't remember how wide they are. Three, four, five. Just craft a ton. Uh, we'll craft seven more, so we've got eight in total. But I don't know if that's how much we'll need. But we'll just do it. It's pointing. The arrow is pointing it to face outwards. That's great. So we need that. Uh, get some more walls going. Uh, now you to create a door. <clears throat> you need to hold. <coughs> You need to hold right click and it brings up this uh, wheel and you can create a door frame uh, and then you left click that's it correct boom we've got a door nice now we need we also need i'm going to how do we rotate it's r that's better and we're going to build a second door i'm going to build it on this side i think do a quick rotate again boom second so we're gonna have door door some walls the standard walls here boom uh we will rotate that one it's the i believe it's the corrugated kind of bit that goes on the outside not sure but it makes sense so it's going to be a door come in second door this is going to be the airlock and we've got a large space now here as well boom are we still building these? We are not. We need some more walls. Building number six. While they're crafting, I'm going to cut down some stuff. So we're going to need some roofs. And we're also going to need a chest. And that's your basic stuff. Uh, there's a deer there. Need a bow and arrow to get them, I guess. A lot of the assets are taken from Rust, but I'm cool with that. The game's decent enough, I don't care, to be honest. And it's very early, obviously. Uh, subject to change. Grab a load of this. Now, I hope I am linked to that uh, bed, because it didn't give me the option to link to it, but I'm guessing it does. We'll eat some food. Uh, what's that? Number seven, that's rules have some of that as well nice it's like some mushroom risotto or something oh and yeah you can see on the left it's increasing our um, hydration and whatnot so boom boom no uh hold destroy ah cool fine get our resources back boom need more Wood wall craft. I think it's just one more, isn't it? Yeah. One wood wall. Need some more structures. We need doors. Perfect. That's what we want. We want that box as well. Level five. Halfway there to level five. So, bam. In we go. We're going to need quite a few roofs as well, um, which is just a floor, I think. That counts as a roof. Uh, yeah, just wood floor. Uh, so, I think wood floor. Oh, I'll just build out eight to start with. Uh, we didn't craft the doors, did we? Uh, no, we need two doors. We need a chest. That's oh yeah, that's level five. While they're crafting, we'll run around and collect some more bits and bobs. Yeah, it looks like there's some sort of barn down there, if you can see in the distance, that we can be able to get some loot from. There's some sort of uh, 
radio tower or something over there as well. Let's get some more wood going. We do need to find, I suppose, the berries that we get from here give us water, but it would be preferable to find a river. Let's have a look at the map. There is a river. Ah, there's a river quite close by, by the looks of things here, if that's what a river is. I'm guessing the blue line means a river. Um, I'm just going to check the volume. Sound. I'm going to move things down a bit. In case it's a bit loud. Sorry about that if it was loud before. Uh, now. We have got... Ah, the doors are being built. The roof. Boom. Um, um, and again, it looks like these beams go on the inside. Okay, perfect. We're getting there. Door. I don't know if it matters which side is in and which side's out. So we'll just wedge them in like that. Wedge them in like that. Um, destroy. Open. Now, I don't know if you need to build locks for these, or if these are just... Because I've claimed the land, only I can open and close them. We'll have to find out. God knows. So, we did level up. I'm just going to go inside so I don't get hit from behind. Perfect. Uh, we should be able to unlock the boxes now. Yeah, perfect. That's great. We've got boxes. A craft. We need some rope. Times two. Uh, yeah. Don't know how big these boxes are. But, um, you know what? Craft some more. Uh, what's this? Plant mucus. Can be crafted into rubber. Right, resin. Yeah, perfect. Let's open this door. And this is the idea of the airlock, so... When you're going out, you would be... Let's say you're coming back to your base and there's someone behind you and you don't know who's sneaking behind you. If there was just a door here, he could sneak in. But where there's a second door, you, he wouldn't get far. He'd just get to this area and then you've got your second door. That's the point of an airlock if anyone didn't know. So, let's get some chests down. And I'm going to put them in the middle, I think, because I don't want people to be able to cheese it through the wall. I don't know if you can do that or not. So I'm just going to put some chests in here. Let's have a look. So we've got quite a bit of storage here. Will I make this one uh, food related maybe? And then we'll have one for mats and then one for miscellaneous like these things that I don't know what they are. There's in stone wood. Yeah, we got wheat. I guess that's food. We'll put the eggs in here. They seem to have not run out. We've got four of them. Uh, craft. Craft two more of these. Double check the tasks list. Collect wood, collect stone. Foundation. That will happen over time. Place wood foundation. Craft bonfire. We can do that. I'll, collect, uh, I'll place this box to it. Line that up nicely. One, two, three, and then I'll dump another one there. <clears throat> In here, we'll just put other mats. I'm going to keep the wood and stone on me because they're probably being used for to build um, my armor and stuff like that, which I'll do on a later episode. I'll stick a fire here. <clears throat> If you have got this far in the video, um, then thank you very much. And if you could subscribe, that'd be great. It does help the channel out a lot. And I'm, I am just growing. I'm just a little noob. Um, so that would help out a lot. Yeah, thank you very much. And I think we are set. We would be pretty much set now to go out raiding uh, tasks. So I'm guessing the best idea is to go through these and complete the tasks 
as we get more XP for it. Um, so that's what we'll be doing as we progress just naturally. As you progress, you'll start unlocking them. Like We'll build some armor and stuff on the next episode, and then we will begin to head out into the wilderness. I'm just going to collect some stone to see if I can unlock. No, I'll leave that until we come across some more rocks and stuff. Uh, so, on the next episode, I'm planning to build some armor. Uh, which is... Uh, yeah, is that it? Here we go, clothing. So we're going to wood, rope. We need a bit of tape. Which I believe you need to build a... You need to build a workbench. Which helps... There, that's the one we need, yeah. Which lets you build tape and stuff. Um, and then we'll start exploring over... I think it was over that direction where the buildings where there's one there we'll check out the combat a bit and we'll start looting and progress a bit further uh yeah thanks again for watching and we will continue on the next episode with like i just said a bit of combat a bit of looting and whatnot like comment subscribe that'd be great cheers and i'll see you on the next one